What we're going to be going over here are convertible bonds that are converted into preferred stock and we're going to be exchanging debt for equity. The bonds represent debt here and the preferred stock represents our equity here on our balance sheet. And we're just going to be going through a very basic example here. So Corp A called or converted their convertible bonds, which is debt here, to equity here. So what Corp A has done is they have bonds payable outstanding of $800,000 and they have a premium on the bonds payable here of $12,000. So that's the carrying value of the book value of the bonds right now. Now each a uh, bond here has a thousand dollar par value and it's converted into 20 shares here of preferred stock with a par value of fifty dollars per share. So what the bondholders are going to get here, each bondholder holding a thousand dollar bond is going to receive 20 shares here of preferred stock with a fifty dollar per share par value here. So what they're receiving, they're going to have a thousand dollars here of bonds and they're going to receive a like share amount here in preferred stock par value. 20 shares times fifty per dollars per share equals a thousand dollars here. So that's what they're going to receive. They're just going to have this bond debt here and the company's going to convert it into equity here. Okay, so let's look at how we record this. So, so we have their bonds that are going to be converted here to preferred stock. So we're going to have our bonds, we're going to have a bonds payable, a premium account here in our bonds payable, and then we're going to have to uh, issue preferred stock here, and we're also going to involve some additional paid in capital here for preferred stock. So what we want to look at is our accounts here and how we um, make our entries here on for this conversion here. So let's just start with our bonds payable here. So we had a credit here of $800,000 a payable here in our bonds payable. So uh, to make this conversion, we had the credit here of 800000 We just debit it out here, remove it off the books here for $800,000. And the same for our premium account here uh, for our bonds payable. We had a credit here sitting uh, at $12,000. So we're just going to debit it out here and remove it off the books here for $12,000. So what we're doing here, and it's pretty basic here, we're going to have issued here preferred stock here. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase our preferred stock here based on that $50 par value. And we'll just, let's just go and look at how we calculate that here. Pretty basic here. Say for example, we had that $800,000 here in bonds payable here at $1,000 per bond. So that division here equals 800. 800 bonds. That's what was sitting here in the books. 800 bonds. Simply the $800,000 par value divided by $1,000 per bond come up with 800 bonds. Uh, so now to, defer, to determine what our preferred stock is here, well they're going to, each uh, shareholder is going to get 20 shares here for each bond they're holding. So 20 shares per bond here. We have 800 bonds and they're also going to get $50 per share here. For, uh, that's what they par value is on the preferred stock. So uh, 800 bonds times 20 shares here at a $50 par value per share, that equals $800,000 here preferred stock par value. Okay, so this is what we've issued here. Credit or increase our preferred stock account here for that $800,000 par value. Uh, just one other thing here, just a note here. Well, we've already talked about it here. But you're going to convert 20 shares here per bond, just so you understand that here. And if you look at it in these terms here, 20 shares times the $50 uh, par value per share, that equals $1,000 here in our preferred stock that each uh, preferred what we our par value for our preferred stock so you can see the thousand dollars here uh, for one uh, equate here in our preferred stock equates to one thousand dollars here for the bond okay so now we come up with our additional paid in capital here for preferred stock so what we would do here is we take the bonds book value here that was we're removing it off the books here at eight hundred thousand plus the uh, twelve thousand here in a premium account so that adds up to $812,000. Now we've allocated to our preferred stock par amount here of $800,000 based on our calculations. So just subtracting that out here, we simple arithmetic is going to give us additional paid in capital here to our preferred stock at $12,000. This is really a balancing entry. This is so basic here you can just see it uh, by doing some simple arithmetic, but that's just how you'd go about it here at, for your additional paid in capital of preferred stock it becomes a balancing entry here simply the 800,000 here on our bonds payable here that we had debited out here plus the $12,000 on our premium account here for a bonds payable that we're removing here and then that debit here balances with 
our credit here for preferred stock of 800,000 we'll subtract that out the remaining amount goes into additional paid in capital here for preferred stock at $12,000 okay so we've gone through a very basic example here you could just see this you can just do very basic arithmetic here to determine uh, what the conversion here when you remove your bond debt we're doing it at, at its book value here and we're moving it over here into shareholders equity on the um, on our balance sheet everything sits on the balance sheet it's just a matter of moving our debt here over to equity and we did it at this you can see here um, our debt and equity really is an equal amount here but the additional paid in capital here uh, we move that or increase that here based on the premium here in our bonds payable and that was really a balancing entry here between what we had on our bond our bond book value here what we allocated to our preferred stock and the additional amount goes an additional paid in capital here for our preferred stock okay so very basic entry but um, this is just how you would do a conversion here when you're uh, when you're converting your bonds into preferred stock just remember you have to look at your conversion ratio here you have to figure out the number of bonds that were outstanding in this case we did uh, it was 800 bonds that were outstanding or sitting on the books that were converting over you had to know the number of shares here preferred stock that was being uh, uh, issued here per bond and then you also had to know in this case the par value here of the preferred stock per bond then we were able to determine the uh, a total par value here that we're issuing here in preferred stock and we did that here and then knowing what our premium that was sitting here in our well whatever our book value on our bonds payable was we would uh, take that and balance it with the preferred stock what's sitting here in the account and then the difference here flows into additional paid in capital for our preferred stock okay so that takes care of our, our convertible bonds here converted into preferred stock